G'day, my name's Andrew Lee, the Shadow Assistant Treasurer in the Australian Parliament. I'm very sorry not to be joining you for the Just Markets Conference that Catherine Waddams and others have organised. It's a critical issue, bringing together as it does uh, the rise in inequality that we've now seen across the Anglo world and beyond, uh, and the increase in market concentration that many people are, in are increasingly documenting. Here in Australia, we've done some work uh, looking at the degree of market concentration, which has left me far more concerned about excessive concentration than I was a few years ago. It's not just in banking and telecommunications and supermarkets that we see very high levels of market concentration. But it's across other markets that Australians don't think about much, like baby food or beer, in which we see a very small number of firms controlling a very large share of the market. One of the consequences of this can be to hurt the most vulnerable. In a world in which, in which you have strong organised labour, excessive market concentration leads to uh, economic rents which are then shared between those who own the companies and those who work for them. But in the current world, in which the Australian unionisation rate is only around 15 per cent, rising concentration means just to our increased profits. What we've seen over recent years is higher profits and an increase in CEO salaries, pretty much what the textbook would lead you to expect. For those at the bottom of the distribution, increased monopoly power means that uh, prices and the availability of new products isn't what it should be. Stores might not open in uh, marginally profitable neighbourhoods restricting the choice that's available to people in poor neighbourhoods and meaning that in some cases they end up paying more or spending more time travelling in order to get the needs they, the, the goods they need. Tony Atkinson's work was one of the first to draw my attention to this issue. In Inequality, What Can Be Done, he has a significant section on market concentration and inequality. That led me to work more on the issue, to deliver a uh, public lecture last year, uh, and then to put together a range of policies which the Australian Labor Party took to the 2016 election. Uh, as an academic who's now been in Parliament for nearly seven years, I can count on the fingers of one hand the number of times in which an idea has come that directly from academia into policy. But Tony's writing has so often done that. Through the course of his life, Tony was able not just to be the economist economist, not just to build up academic departments, write great books, seminal articles, have an inequality measure named after himself, but also to communicate with policymakers. Now, one of the reasons that I will miss him so much is that ability to blend the technical and the policy work. I know this is a, a policy conference, but I expect it is in many ways too, a Tony Atkinson tribute conference. One of which each of us remember what Tony taught us intellectually, but also for me, what he taught me about how a good scholar behaves. I first met Tony in around 2002 or three, uh, when I was a student at Harvard uh, and he came to give a talk. I rather uh, presumptuously suggested that his talk had excluded Australia and he said, well, let's work on it together. I flew over to Oxford and we worked on uh, what became three papers looking at uh, top incomes in Australia, top incomes in New Zealand and the relationship between top incomes and top tax rates across five Anglo countries. I was pretty green, uh, didn't know very much about economic history or for that matter statistics. Uh, but Tony was always respectful, generous uh, and wonderfully kind. Uh, when uh, he and uh, uh, Judith learned that my wife Gwyneth was pregnant with our first child, uh, he sent us a uh, little French bunny angel uh, in which you can pull the string underneath and it uh, plays a, a little, uh, little French lullaby. It's a beautiful toy uh, and Tony's willingness to reach out to us as friends uh, as well as to think of us as, uh, of me as a scholar uh, is something that, uh, that really marks me in my dealings with others. 
Uh, like each of you, I'll miss him a great deal, uh, but I see the influence of his intellectual work uh, all around us. Uh, not just in Britain and the United States and the Top Incomes database, the work he did with Tom Piketty and the team of Top Incomes scholars, uh, but even over on the other side of the world, here in Australia, where Tony Atkinson's ideas uh, became uh, part of a policy that uh, a major party took to the last election, uh, which I think are shaping public debates. Uh, I hope all goes well for your very important conference. I'm sorry not to be joining you uh, due to the conflict with parliamentary sittings. Uh, but if there are ideas that you believe that uh, we should be picking up on, please don't hesitate to get in touch. All the best for a successful conference.